Hello world, this is Dennis, and I got another shortwave radio video for you today. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my PRN 1000. Um, after looking it over, I've noticed I haven't done a review for this radio, radio yet, and um, one of my subscribers, Spectre Oz, has uh, shown some interest in it, so I figure I'd do a review uh, video for it. Um, the PRN 1000 is basically just a renamed uh, Drake uh, SW1. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find my book here. Crud. Okay, can't find my book, but um, well, if you want to learn more about the background of this video of this radio, just do a search for Drake SW1, um, and it'll give you the background. Um, on it, but uh, the uh, PRN 1000 is a uh, general coverage shortwave radio. It gets uh, long wave, medium wave, and short wave. Um, it doesn't do uh, single sideband, which for me is kind of a kind of a minus. Uh, I uh, do a lot of ham radio listening, but at the time when I bought this radio back. Uh, uh, 2005, 2006, something like that. Um, that didn't really bother me. And just for general listening, you know, it's a good radio. Like uh, Specter Oz mentioned, it's got a nice big display here. Um, so you definitely can't uh, don't have to worry about not being able to see what the oops, what the frequency is. Um, <coughs> excuse me. To continue with the front panel here, you got uh, your tuning dial here, and then you got your tuning um, buttons here. Um, there are only two presets here, and this is the uh, WWV button here. Uh, you either got 10 megahertz or uh, 5 megahertz programmed, which is you know I don't, I don't, me I don't usually oops. I don't usually use presets on these radios because most of the time I have the frequencies memorized anyhow, so that's uh, no biggie. Uh, it's got a step button, so you can tune it either in one or uh, five hertz steps. A dimmer, don't know if that, okay, yeah, that does show up on there. And a recall button, so it'll go back to the last frequency that you entered on here. You got your numeric keypad, you got the enter button clear, you got a tone dial which as far as I can tell really doesn't do anything, and then obviously you got volume. Got good old WWV here on 15 megahertz. Now let me see if I can uh, turn these around so I can show you the back of the radio here. Careful, careful. Okay, now this might get a little shaky because I'm gonna pick up the webcam so I can show you the back of the radio better. So uh, please forgive the shakiness. Oops. Okay. So this is the back of the radio. You got this. Um, oops, wrong radio. <laughs> Sorry. You got this uh, switch here for. Uh, local and DX and then on the back here you got um, where, you, where you hook up your antenna where you see the alligator clip that's the antenna and then the one next to it is the ground and then you got your uh, where you plug in your uh, adapter power adapter wall wart um, now for the antenna oops I've got hooked up well I've got this and the DX uh, uh, 160 hooked up is um, I got them uh, let's see here. I uh, can't get this to stretch any further. Sorry about that. I got um. What I basically did was I took my extra ballon and I got the uh, the DX160 and the PRN attached to this end here, and then I got the coax here running to my uh, antenna switch. Uh, hold on, let me turn my scanner down. No, let me turn it off. Um, now this. Is the coax I use for my Grundig, um, so it's kind of I have to unhook it from the Grundig and hook it up to here or to my uh, 
uh, DX394A if I want to use uh, those radios with the outdoor antenna. Eventually I want to get a uh, four position uh, antenna switch so I don't have to do as much you know on hooking and hooking up. So that's how I got my uh, two radios here uh, hooked up to my antenna switch. Uh, let me see if I can put this back. Like I said, please forget how uh, shaky this is. Okay, well, uh, let me turn the radios around so you can see it again. Now, in case you're wondering what that noise is you're hearing in the background here, um, when the furnace starts up, it makes uh, quite the racket. Um, depending on the radio, on some radios it's really no noticeable and some it's not. Once the you know, signal gets stronger, you don't really notice it as much, but yeah, like right here, you can hear it. That's the, uh, that's the uh, motor from the furnace. And then, like, up here, uh, that's basically interference from the uh, humidifier. But uh, getting back on topic uh, with this uh, radio, oh yeah, like right there, that's really bad. Uh, let's put on Brother Scare. There we go. A little something in the background, but, um... Overall, I give this radio, um... I would say I would give it... A 4 out of 5. It's a solid performer. Um, like I said, it's, uh... It's just for the, you know, AM broadcasts, so don't expect to be able to listen to... The ham operators, unless they're on the AM mode, like uh, here, let's uh, try it real quick. I don't know how well you can hear it with uh, this webcam's uh, microphone, but it's got a good speaker, it's got good sound to it, so uh, overall, like I said, uh, 4 out of 5. Um, decent radio, um, if you're looking for just a simple radio to use for shortwave listening and don't care about listening to you know, the ham operators and single side band or like utility stations and stuff like that, um, this would be the radio to get. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, radio review, and as always, peace and all that good stuff.